Holmes, for heaven's sake, whatever's going on? Oh, hello, Watson. You're early. Did you kill all of your patients? What? Holmes, where have all these wretched bees come from? I increased the temperature of the room so as to prevent them from hibernating. I needed to take a sample of honey. But it worked, Watson. We will have honey all year round. Ridiculous and dangerous. They are domestic bees. Apis mellifera, such industrious workers. Anyway, Watson, I am sorry, but I must leave you. I'm in rather a hurry. You have a new case? Yes, but nothing as thrilling as this experiment. A theft of plants at the Royal Botanic Gardens in Kew. I'm helping a minister who's an old friend of mine. You can join me if you like. Well, I'll admit that I'd far rather accompany you than remain alone here with these workers of yours. Besides, you'll need a helping hand with the flowers you're intending to bring back. Watson, however did you guess? For the great Sherlock Holmes to bother with the theft of plants. Come on, admit that you're planning to spoil your little bees with some rare pollens. <laughs> Since when did I become so transparent? Let us go. So it's time to time to start solving a new case, and this case is the Kew Gardens drama. Welcome, my friends, and I hope you enjoy this case. Hopefully, it's a little bit longer than the previous case, which was fairly easy to solve. So I guess we're heading towards the Kew Gardens. So I'll see you there. I wish we could have brought Toby along again, but I guess we're stuck with Watson. But are you really intent on investigating the theft of the plants? Yes, of course. I'm sure there's always something more. Well, uh, there are two individuals over there, let's approach them. Don't touch anything else, is that clear? Just go and get a bucket of fertilizer. And without turning it over this time. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? If you are here for a visit, please do come back on Sunday. Those are quite I the I am glasses. afraid that it cannot wait. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. We are investigating the theft of plants that took place here five days ago. A remarkable collection, I believe. So you're the one in charge, eh? A small favor for a friend. Now to whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I am Martin Hamish. I am the deputy director of Kew Gardens. And that fellow yonder is Albert. He works here. I am delighted to meet you. What can you tell us about the plants? They were rare and exceptional plants. We presented them at our last exhibition. We haven't removed the stand yet. It is still in the large glass house. We only learned of their disappearance the evening after the exhibition, and nobody saw anything. No doors were forced? No, but I would imagine that for a thief it would be fairly easy to gain entry, for there are no guards here. Well, if you don't mind, we will take a look. Now, you say that it is in the large glass house. Yes, the one just behind me. Just a second, since Albert has nothing else to do. This Albert, is busy. show these gentlemen where the exhibition was held. How many people work here? Only myself, but occasionally two students, Albert, whom you have met, and Miss White. Well, it seems to me that Albert is doing all the work while you just dilly-dally all day. But oh well. Let's inspect the room. I'm sure there's something more than just missing Here plants. Is. This is the place where the stolen plants were exhibited. Thank you. Is there something the matter? Yes, there is. All right, the plants were valuable and rare, but it seems to me that the tragedy that took place here only two days ago has been entirely forgotten already. What tragedy are you referring to? My... The director of Kew Gardens, Mr. Montague Dunn. He died here just two days ago. We're very sorry. We were not aware. The two of you were good friends? He... He was my father. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Our condolences. We should not be troubling you. Please do excuse us for the intrusion. You say that he died here, in the large glass house? Holmes? Yes. Just here near the door to the colonial collection. He suffered a heart attack. Just like that. So suddenly. 
It was terrible. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I cannot remain here. If you need me, I'll be in the reserve. That's the room next to the front of the large greenhouse. Of course, we understand. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be visiting you soon. So let's start inspecting. The plants were here. All of them were stolen. I told you there had to be something more than just missing plants. Here is a list of the stolen plants. So that's a clue. Let's keep examining. That's ah, quite an, uh, quite a nice little uh, pond. Get out of my way, Watson! Oh Albert, my God! This is where his father, Montague Dunn, was found dead. Okay, apparently we have a lot of things to Blood. check here. This sign is broken. Something heavy was dropped upon it. Hmm. Someone fell violently against this sign and they were injured in the clash. Most likely a head wound. Let's inspect. Oh boy, we got quite a lot of things to inspect. Let's start with the door. The door was smashed at shoulder height. Someone, someone busted this it open. This door handle is new. It was recently changed. The Esconson was breached near the handle. Yeah, that certainly means that someone knocked open the door. The door was from the, the inside of the colonial collection room. The handle was changed afterwards. I think we need to inspect the colonial collection room. You don't say. The traces are thinner in some places. Got footprints here. Guess I need to be out of special view mode in order to be These able to check fresh. them out. It appears as though someone was dragging their feet. The footprints hmm. reveal that someone staggered here. So whoever bust through the door wasn't in a very good state apparently. Let's check keep checking the floor. What we have here. Fragments of a flower pot. It fell down here. Soil. It should have come from a flower pot. The soil on the side of this flower shelf is the same as that on the ground. This pot was broken fairly recently. A flower pot recently fell down from these shelves and was misplaced. All the clues around here are quite suspicious. I need my imagination to make sense of it all. Hmm, so we'll use our special imagination to see. Okay, we got to mark down the correct sequence of events. So first he opened the door, then he knocked over the pot and then he fell. So let's try and do this. There we go. That's the correct sequence, but let's watch the sequence again to confirm. Opens the door knocks on the, the vase and falls. This reconstruction reveals a disturbing fact. Montague Dunn damaged the door of the colonial collection room. He was in a panic or the door was locked. Was it an accident or a murder then, I wonder? Seems to me like I a murder. I need to inspect the colonial collection room. Yeah, you already said that, man. We're going to check it in a minute. First, let's see if there aren't any. Yep, These there's a clue. trees with their roots in water must originate from Louisiana. Oh boy, they came from far away then. I remember our visit in the case of the Awakened. Stop moonwalking. Okay, let's check this room now. According to this. They have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. Mm, quite advanced for the time. The smell is strong. It is a detergent. These, these windows were perfectly cleaned. Mm. 
This broken fragment was the result of a heavy blow. A fragment of marble, most likely chipped from a statue or sculpture. Part of this greenhouse was emptied and thoroughly clean. In order to remove this any evidence, the potentially. The ventilation system. Okay, well... We need to search our archives, apparently, later on. Uh, but we'll leave that for later. Apparently we can make a deduction here. I'm just going to inspect the other side. These plants come from all the territories of the British Empire. Okay. So, em emptied colonial collection. And we can associate that with the fact that Mr. Dunn was trapped. And that he busted through the door and died in the water lily greenhouse. This gives us a clue. Oh, we need to perform an autopsy. So that's our next destination. I guess we're going to head towards Scotland Yard to perform the autopsy. So I'll see you there. I asked Inspector Lestrade to take Montague Dunn's body to Scotland Yard. It's ready for autopsy then. Okay, so let's check uh, to see his belongings first of all. Here's our... His Putin apparently is still being uh, wanted. Uh, but we're going to check out uh, the victim's belongings and then we'll head towards the morgue to do an autopsy. A membership card for the London Crest Club. This watch is of great value. A beautiful feather pen of a good make. And we have a letter here. Let's read it. My friend, your posters for the great exhibition at Kew Gardens are very beautiful, but it's surely unnecessary to mention all of the stuff. My name alone will be sufficient. Montague Dune. Well, he wanted to take all the glory for himself, so that gives all the other workers plenty of reasons to kill him. Wouldn't be surprised if it's the glass, the other glasses dude that we, the dude with glasses that we talked to when you were, we arrived uh, at Kew Gardens the first time, since he might have been felt he was being overshadowed. But let's not conclude that quite yet. First of all, let us carry out an external examination. Okay, I'm not examining anything below the waist. So he's got a blonde head. There is head. an injury to the skull, most probably caused by the fall in the water lily greenhouse. Doesn't seem enough to kill him. The vessels and the pupil of the eye appear quite normal. The air from the lungs carries a faint floral aroma. Hmm. Okay. There are no suspicious marks upon the chest. Let us finish our external examination so that we can proceed with the autopsy. Check the arms. No redness, stings or bruises. I check the other arm. Nothing suspicious here. Now, let us examine the internal organs. Uh. Whistling, really, Watson? If only it was this easy to pull out a heart. The heart's blood vessels show no pathological signs. The heart tissue shows no visible pathological signs. <laughs> the lungs are congested and edematous. Not a good sign when there's a lesion. The tissue on the inferior lobe of the right lung is damaged, most probably caused by toxins from an unknown plant. So we breathe in a toxin, that makes sense. The liver is enlarged, that's for the sure. The liver is enlarged. 
It would seem that he was suffering from an alcohol addiction. We'll have to ask if he was an alcoholic. I doubt it, though. It doesn't seem the like The liver it. tissue is brown. There are no visible pathological signs. The stomach tissues show no visible pathological signs. There is hmm. a small amount of content. It appears that he breakfasted lightly, only a short while before his death. Well, I hope we don't have to look at his intestines because that might be a little bit harder to pull out. Unless we're going to skip have rope. Been substantiated. Montague Dunn, the director of Kew Gardens, died from poisoning. Plant poisoning, to be more exact. You mean... Yes, it is murder. We should inform Lestrade. Yes, but do remember, Watson, that I discovered the murder. The challenge is mine. The challenge, Holmes? We need to locate that deadly plant. Such a perfect murder appeals to me. Murder of any kind appeals to you. Is that all we need to do? No. We also have the people working at Kew Gardens, Martin Hamish, and the son of the victim, Albert Dunn. And also Miss White, of whom we spoke with Mr. Hamish. Should we bring them all here for interrogation? No. A few innocuous questions at Kew will suffice, as well as a discreet delve into their personal affairs. Yes, Watson, it is time now to open the doors. Even those in the staff building. I suppose that is necessary. We should also be concerned with the victim himself. After all, we don't know very much about Montague Dunn. Well, he wanted all the glory to himself, we know already, that. Aren't you? <laughs> More than a little. So it would be easy for him to make enemies. But that's going to do it for this episode. Let's just make this little deduction first. Uh, we can conclude that Montague Dunn was poisoned. Um, and that he was trapped in the colonial collection room and he tried to force the door open to escape uh, but that's all that we can conclude so far so we're going back to Kew Gardens and see if you can, we can get uh, a little bit more information and interrogate our suspects so thank you so much for watching my friends and I will see you all later for the next segment take care